Alright everybody, I don't know if anybody's going to be here today, but I figure I'll just go live while I do this. Uh, hold on, turn it down. Okay, so last night I was thinking, and I think I remember why I got the ending I got. And it's because I didn't go and be friends with Undyne before I killed Asgore. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go be friends with Undyne, I'm going to go kill Asgore. And then I'm going to try to beat the True Pacifist ending in the time that I am allotted. So, that being said, this may take a little bit of grinding time. So I might be a little quiet in this stream just because I'm trying to focus. If anybody's here, you know, feel free to talk and I will answer your questions if you want me to. Or let's just chat, you know, that's cool too. I don't really mind. Uh, let's see here. Oh, wait, where am I going? I don't even know. Oh, yeah, this is not the place I want to go. Uh... No, go back, go back, come on. Please location. I think it's right floor one, or is it left floor one? I don't know. The, the, the core floors always kind of confuse me, honestly. No, that's not it. Uh, let's try left floor one. I don't really, I don't really know. I'm still a little groggy from, I just woke up about an hour ago, <clears throat> so, almost an hour ago, so, okay, here we go, here, that's where we're going in the right place. Ta-la-la, let's go to Waterfall, because I'm going to go be friends with Undyne, and then I'm going to go and beat Asgore again, get the, uh, you know, the neutral ending or the neutral pacifist end and then I'll go be friends with with uh, Alphys, go do the true lab, and then uh, go be as real dreamer. Alright, <clears throat> let's see here. I think I think her house is over here. Oh ho, that human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Yes. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. <laughs> she loves these. <laughs> Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am, and I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? Here, Undyne! My friend brought a gift for you on their own! Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. So are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! You two have fun! <laughs> I love that so much. Mm. So why are you even here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Yes. Oh ho ho ho! Well, I've got news for you, brat. You're on my battlefield now. And you aren't going to humiliate me. I'll tell you what's going to happen. We're going to hang out. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have become friends. You'll become so enamored with me, you'll be, you'll be the one feeling humiliated for your actions. 
<laughs> it's the perfect revenge! Uh, why don't you have a seat? Sit down in progress? Yes. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set. What would you like? Hey! Don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Uh, so we got we got a choice between sh uh, the sugar that goes in tea, soda, hot chocolate, or a tea box. Uh, let's do that. That's a blatantly correct choice. Let's do that. Tea, huh? Coming right up. Oh. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend! Hey! You know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea? That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. <coughs> I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I could ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well... I mean, it's not like he's- not that he's weak, he's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's- he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little, little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he could do something else with his life. Oh, sorry. I was stalking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking! Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine! <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends! Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. How will you pound? Strong or wimpy? Let's do strong. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah! Yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn! Yeah. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand! They're the cheapest! Yeah! Uh, just put them in the pot. <laughs> 
How will you put them in? Fiercely, fiercely. Just go ahead, we're, we're, we're on a roll. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah! I'm into it! Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is! <clears throat> Ready? Let's do it. Z, rapper, repeat Z! Stir harder! Stir harder! Ah! ah, let me do it. <coughs> That's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat! Let those stove tops symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Oh, left, you follow. I pushed left. Push left. This burner only goes one way. Hotter! Hotter! Darn it! Hotter! Ah, <clears throat> oh, let me do it. See, this is how you burn down your house. Ah, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. <coughs> so what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore, or one final rematch, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. <laughs> and Dime is letting you make the first attack. Uh, fake attack. You pretend to swing the Dime with all your might. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You, can't, you just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Huh. You know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine chick, but... The way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls across the barrier and beat the hell out of you! That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now, let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hanging with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, Monk. Oh, wait! This is sudden, but... Can you deliver something for me? Papyrus suggested that I ask you. But he told me when I still hated you, so... Oh, and anyway, here, just take it. You got the Undyne's letter. Well, what are you waiting for? Go deliver it. Uh, oh, yeah. It's addressed to Dr. Office. Okay, see you! Oh, can I actually... I wonder. I'm kind of curious. I, w I don't know for sure if I'm able to, but I think maybe I can go directly to Alphys's lab and uh, oh, no, uh, and deliver the letter and just go ahead and start the true lab mode. Oh, no. Dang it, I hate how it does that. I don't want to go to Snowden. So I just realized before I started uh, this stream that I, I forgot to switch my internet to Ethernet. Um, uh, so if for any reason the stream goes out, um, I will probably restart it.